So I'm walking back to my car after <laughs> quite, quite an evening, actually. That was really encouraging to see how many people showed up. Let's jaywalk across this street and get killed. And so I wanted to tell the story of this T-shirt because I never walk around Tel Aviv in a T-shirt that says Mossad because that's something only tourists do. But I bought this. This T-shirt was actually bought for me by Kay Wilson. You can look up her story. It's an amazing story. And it was bought at the top of the Golan Heights. And we were up there. I was up there with Tommy and his friends. I'd taken them all up there. I drove them up there. That was the same day that we took the, the photograph, the famous photograph of Tommy standing on a tank in his shit shorts, as he calls them, and his flip-flops. And we went up to the top of the Golan Heights to a place called Cafe Anan, which literally means coffee in the clouds. Uh, and it's also a play on the name of Kof Kofi Annan, a former head of the UN, because the UN actually stand up there. They have a permanent observation force where they look down on Syria because Syria is too bloody dangerous for the UN. So they just stand in Israel and at 4.30 they clock off and go home and they stay up there next to this wonderful coffee place that does great coffee. And we, we all went up there. We had a wonderful pizza. And while we were eating pizza, um, we heard this like multiple explosions. We ran outside and see the smoke from a multiple Katusha rocket launch that, that happened over in Syria. You know, one faction fighting another on there, uh, basically at our feet. It's, 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 it's pretty unbelievable that there is a full on war going about 200 and something kilometers to my north. Anyway, that was the day I bought this Mossad t-shirt and uh, Tommy got a similar one, I think. And, and he got his IDF t-shirt, which he wore uh, later that day. So that's why I'm wearing the Mossad t-shirt because I bought it with Tommy. I'm wearing also, <laughs> so give my fashion rundown here, my Build Israel Great Again hat, <laughs> which of course is modeled on the red Trump hat and um, that slogan and this hat was made by the people from the Shomron, uh, from my friend Ellie Pipers, who, who, who actually helped us out with Tommy and gave us uh, a tour of parts of what the press mistakenly called the West Bank, but we know it as Yudavev Shomron, Judea and Samaria, the heartlands of, of Israel. And um, they made this hat, Build Israel Great Again, because that's what we're doing here. We're building a great country. We're building something productive, something that gives back to the world, something that produces technology, ways, and all of this other stuff that you use every day, the cameras in your cell phones, all of it comes from here. Because that's what we do. That's what Israel does. And Tommy came, saw it, met the people. He met Arabs. We toured some of the time with a, a friend of Kay's, who I, I can't really name him because she, he, he, professed his support for Israel. He's an Israeli Arab and he had to flee his town, his Arab town in Israel. Kay sheltered him. Uh, and, you know, at some risk to her own life. Kay, Kay is someone who you will never meet another person who has come closer to dying at the hands of jihad and lived than Kay. So, and yet she has bravery and the time and the patience and the love to rescue Arabs if she needs to. Um, it's not about hatred of people. And it's not about hatred of Muslims because we don't hate Muslims. No, that, that's, there's an ideological problem, but we have to call out the ideology. We just have to. And that's what Tommy does. That's what I'm doing. It's about trying to free people from an ideology of hatred uh, because that's what it is. Get away from it get out of it go find something that's more loving uh, because it's very very negative for everybody that's what we're trying to do and um, it was very very heartening to see people turn up in Tel Aviv where Tommy is really not a household name I can assure you and just say free Tommy Robinson because what's being done to him in the past by the British uh, police and courts is a travesty. What was done to him in Canterbury a year ago was a travesty. And that is what set him up to be, to be 
uh, whisked away to prison on a ridiculous, unbelievable sentence on Friday. Um, that is, you know, you, you, you people in Britain, you really are in danger. You are absolutely in danger because you, if you can't criticize an ideology that wants to kill you, that blows up your children in a pop concert and drives cars across bridges ramming into you and then pulls out knives and stabs you. If you can't criticize that, what the hell is left? What are you doing with your country? How are you going to get it back? Don't do that. We know how to resist here in Israel. Sometimes we forget a bit. We try and make stupid peace plans that don't work. But uh, eventually we get our balls back. And uh, what you need to do back in Britain is listen to Tommy Robinson, not lock him up, and you need to get your balls back. All right, been a great night, great evening. Thanks very much for watching all this, and thanks for sharing. Bye-bye.